everyone. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to this next episode of Vlogmas. Today it's a Bonnie vlog. Uh, today Bonnie is going on a special expedition and I need to make sure she is sparkly clean or as clean as you can get a Welsh a pony who lives out in the field and likes to roll a bit. So I'm just gonna delve in straight away guys and tell you exactly what the giveaway is, who I'm going to be collaborating with today, and that is the wonderful team at Cardair Martin with, I can tell you, without those guys, my ponies and horses would just look like mud monsters. So, um, should we take it, should we go and have a look at some of the prizes? So, if we take a little look down here, we can see an array of products, which I can assure you, once you use these, you will never look back because they are game changing. So I'll just give you a little run through of them. First up, we have, I'm gonna start with my favorite, not gonna lie, this guy here, the Canter Mane and Tail Conditioner. Now, this is the longest lasting mane and tail spray that I've used. And what I do with this is I pop this on. If my horses are staying in, I pop it on before bed. Hello, Bonnie. This is <laughs> I pop it on before bed. And uh, in the morning, literally, you can just whoosh a brush through. It's no problem at all. Bonnie, can you walk on, please? Hello. <laughs> Next up, we have the Dream Coat. Now, this is like the ultimate finishing spray. If you're going to a show and you want to dazzle those judges, I mean, I use it to dazzle them to take their eyes away from how I'm performing. <laughs> then guys, this is, this is for you. It literally is so long lasting and you can even apply it to the saddle area without feeling like you're going to slippity doo -dah off the side. Next up, now this is for all you fellow gray or colored horse owners out there. Stain Master. This is a very good last minute tool for if you don't want to get the bucket and sponge out and the shampoo this guy little spray t -t 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 damp cloth or sponge wipe it off and hey presto your stain has gone honestly another winter essential but speaking of shampoo and bucket and sponge if you do have time to give your horse a bath or if it's warm enough or you have the luxury of a hot shower like i do actually you can use the extra strength shampoo which again if you're going out for a winter show if you're going out bloodhounding or whatever if you need to make your horse super shiny shiny white this is great it just tackles right through that grease and dirt and you'll end up with the most dazzling horse so now our fields are lovely and wet and muddy this hoof barrier is literally ideal so this daily hoof barrier creates a protective one-way barrier allowing the hoof to both breathe and repel excess moisture. It dries in minutes and it has a non-sticky clear finish. Dream. So that my friends is the ultimate winter horse care kit. You literally have got everything that you need to make sure your horse is happy, healthy and glowing. So if you want to be in with the chance of winning that fantastic bundle, you know what to do guys. Head on over to my Instagram, find the post, which will be the last one on the grid uploaded, follow the brands, follow me, leave a comment, tag a friend, like, share, hey presto, you are entered. Anyway, I really need to crack on with getting Bonnie ready because I wouldn't say she's looking overly clean right now. Also, I'm not going to bath her today just because she lives out in the winter and she has no rug on. And if I bath her, I don't want to strip all of those lovely essential oils which help keep her warm and dry. So today for her, it is just going to be a case of giving her a good groom, cleaning up her feet and maybe some extra little festive touches. So for those of you who aren't familiar with my pony, Bonnie, here she is. She is a two-year-old Welsh Mountain Section A pony. And she's actually a rescue pony and I got her when she was 10 months old. If you're interested in seeing what she was like when I first got her, there is a whole Bonnie playlist that you can go and have a look at. Anyway, here she is in the field. As you can see, she is super fluffy so she doesn't need a rug. Uh, being a Welsh mountain pony, they are very hardy and that's what they're made for. The first job, when I bring her in, 
is to give her feet a wash off. Um, so I use a bucket and water, it's just cold water, and a little brush there with a handle. Um, because she's going on a nice outing today, she can't have any mud on her feet. And also, before you put hoof oil on, you need their feet to be clean and dry. And a little scratch there for being a good girl, because she doesn't really like this, but she's very, very patient indeed. So once you've got your horse's legs wet, it's really important to dry them. So I've got a clean, dry towel here. And as you can see, I'm just starting from the top, working my way down to the bottom, down to those fetlocks and making sure all of the excess water is off her feet. Now that's really important to make sure their legs are thoroughly dry after you've washed them, just to protect them from any bacterial infections. So I do all of her feet, all four legs. She's very good at this. She's very patient, but also got the hay net there to help her. Next, picking out her feet. Now, yes, she is barefoot. Obviously, my two-year-old Tony does not have shoes on, but it's equally as important to pick out barefoot horses' feet as it is with horses with shoes. This is because if they stand on a stone and it gets wedged in there, it's obviously going to be very uncomfortable for them. Um, the next step, oh, it's the fun bit. Now I'm using my favorite mane and tail conditioner by Cardone Martin. As you can see, I'd plaited her tail before. So, because I'd washed it a while ago, I've just plaited it and then just a little douse of the spray through the tail and just leave it in before you brush it because it will have time to soak in. Doesn't need that long. And I do the mane as well. And while that is soaking in, I will get a dandy brush and brush off the worst of the mud. As I said before, I wouldn't ever bath Bonnie in the winter because she needs all of the natural oils oils in her coat um, because she doesn't have a rug, because she doesn't need a rug, because in the, you know, in the Welsh mountains they didn't have rugs on. Um, right, here we go, the fun bit. Now brushing out the tail. I really like how it's all crimped and nice and pretty. Um, but as you can see, the brush just whoosh, swooshes through um, and that way you're not pulling too much of the tail out. A little chest scratch there. She doesn't really like her mane being brushed, um, so I have to be really patient and do things quite slowly with her, especially with the mane, just because I want it to be a positive experience. So when she stands still, I do give her a little reinforced scratch, um, but she doesn't, weirdly, she doesn't mind her forelock being done that much, so she's very patient here. Also, if you like the fluff on her head collar, I think it's quite festive, it's very sweet. Oh gosh, with her cute little face, I could do this, literally do this all day. Right, here we go. Here I'm putting on some of the hoof barrier. Um, so obviously I had washed her feet off from all the mud, they're now dry. So I can just pop a little bit on. She really doesn't need that much because her feet are literally smaller than the palm of my hand. Okie dokie. So that is essentially how I would groom my little Welsh pony. But as this is Vlogmas and she's going somewhere very, very special, obviously we need to add some little festive touches. So uh, BRB. So here are my pot of wonderful, strong plaiting bands and uh, I'm going to start plaiting her tail. Now, normally, because she is a Welsh section A, you don't actually plait Welsh ponies um, if you are going showing. But as we are not going showing today, hint, we're not going to a show, I thought it would be a nice treat to have her tail plaited and as you can see she stands so perfectly so it's not a hassle at all. Um, as with any horse you plait down to the end of their dock and then finish the plait with the band around the end. Now normally you'd loop it up and sew it down but I didn't want to bother doing that today. So then on to popping on the little festive touches and here I've got these cute little red bows which I just evenly pop in her tail and they've got two little loopy things which I just twist around and they stay put quite nicely. Ta-da! And there we have one pretty bonnie pony ready for your adventure. 
I mean, if she can smell the treats, because uh, I'm just about to load her up and off you go. Now, luckily, guys, she's better at loading than Lara Touchwood, <laughs> so I won't be dragged around the field by you, will I? Hey? Unlike the first time I got her off the trailer, but you've come a long way since then. She honestly is, guys, the best little, little pony ever. And uh, you will have to watch the grand finale of Vlogmas to find out what exactly it is she'll be doing today. But um, we're going to have a lot of fun, aren't we, Bon? Yeah. <laughs> Comment below. Any guesses? Bet you. I bet you won't guess it. Anyway, I've got to go because uh, we've got somewhere to be. So if you want to enter the giveaway, which I really, really, really honestly recommend it, head over to my Instagram now once you've watched the vlog and uh, follow the steps, enter, boom, done. Hurrah. Anyway, guys, um, have a very merry day, whatever you may be doing. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel if you don't want to miss out on Bonnie's grand adventure. And uh, give this video a like if you enjoyed a little bit of Bonnie pampering and leave a comment. And I will see you again very soon indeed. Bye. Say bye, Bon. Bye. Bye, everybody. Right, so in theory, she will just follow me up the ramp. So let's see how she goes. We are travelling loose today, aren't we? Hey, travelling loose today. So up to come. Oh, look at this lovely haylage in here, Bon. Good girl. Oh, you're so good. Well done. And now you get a big treat. Now you get a big treat. You do. Oh, yum. Good girl. Right. See you at her grand adventure. It's the best day of the year. Come fly with me now, Rudy. I'm loaded. <laughs>